It's your returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka Trapskitball Jones. Welcome to Be Your Own Bodyguard, where for the low, low price of $250 for one day, a tattooed little wuss who has never been in a fight will explain how to weaponize exercise. He was at Rogue Fitness and he was watching, I think it was Miko Salo and, and Graham Holmberg, they were working out, and the first movement he saw was wall balls. Now he's seen them before, but it was like this light bulb moment where he goes, holy shit, so. Deriving a combat technique from a carnival game. When Bruce Lee talked about the art of fighting without fighting, this is not what he meant. Still, this is better than the light bulb moments CrossFitters usually have. He's watching him do wall balls and he's going, holy shit, the same kinetic chain that it takes to go from quarter extremity to fire a wall ball is the exact same kinetic chain that I can use to fire a palm strike, okay? It's time to witness the tremendous carryover that a projectile attack has to a melee one. Good. You guys see the chain? You see this rope? I'll tell you what. Kinetic CrossFitters, rope. People go, man, I, I've, I'm not a martial arts athlete. Or any kind of athlete. If you do Karen, which is how many wall balls? 150. And you do any other workout that week that has even one wall ball, you have now thrown more power punches than some pro boxers throw in fights. And if you've ever pulled your putt, you've thrown more hammer fists than the Hulk. Okay, you have the reps. Let's just show you how to convert them. So now we've got palm strikes in there. Well, what about some of the other tools? What about the elbows? Okay, does this look familiar? That reminds me of the stick you used in your tactical limbo wad years ago. Maybe one day CrossFitters will learn how to use blunt objects for self-defense instead of party games. Vertical elbows, okay, firing in a front rack position, okay, cleaning a bar, the exact same kinetic chain, and I would argue probably more violent and explosive than some fighters th uh, throw. Your cleans are more violent and explosive because you usually drop the weights on yourselves afterwards. Vertical elbows in a fight, okay. Where's the other elbow? Guarding your heads for pussies. All right, reset. What's the most dangerous thing about CrossFit is driving to the box. No, for CrossFitters, danger is a destination, not a journey. Okay, good coaches know how to dispel that stupid rumor, that stupid myth. The most dangerous thing about CrossFit is driving to the box. And when you drive to the box, when we drive every day, what do we do? We put on our seatbelt, right? Now these are cartoonish, but guys, I'm trying to show you the movements that you already do so that you can, you can see that you already have the reps. He's right, you know. You've spent months in the womb doing fetal position curls, so you'll be ready to assume that position again when you're getting your ass kicked. So Josh puts on his seatbelt, he reaches across, same motion, okay, covering the, the, the Dab face. on them muggers. Horizontal elbows in a fight. Buckle up, sand the floor. Mr. Miyagi taught Daniel-san to do this type of shit for free. Reset, okay. Mountain climbers, okay. Coaches make you do thousands of these. Knees to elbow, okay. Same kinetic chain, that, that closing of the core, okay. You guys have already done the spear flow drill, so I'm going to pause these guys at the right moment. Spear flow. Go ahead. A mountain climber is less similar to a knee block than a pug is to a wolf. This is why you should train with a Chad Sensei, not a virgin spear flower. Knees to elbows, go. Okay, now how hard do these knees have to be when they're fired from that proximity, right? And it's the shot you don't see coming that gets you. We'd like to see how far this dumbassery gets you at a boxing gym. Okay, so watch this. Standing here, okay. Everybody save Josh's life. See, he's flinching because he trusts me, but he doesn't trust me. He wants to live, but he doesn't want to live because this video has made your team a laughing stock. Right? So when you guys see me about to knee Josh, save his life. Everybody ready? You guys ready? What happened? Right? There you go. Let him down. Consider it reciprocity. Right? What we're studying is a bad guy's proximity works against him. We just need to reframe that. Allow me. Learning self-defense from a competitive exerciser works against you which is why the only person CrossFit will ever teach you how to incapacitate is yourself. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now.